Hi everybody, this is Belinda from Belinda's Book Nook and I am here to do a Friday Reads. Woo, it's Friday. Unfortunately, the weather is not like the cheery weather. This is the weather you want to stay in your bed because it started out really windy, windy, windy and then it started like raining sideways and now it's just raining with a little wind but then every now and then you get a big gust. So I love how this is always turned into like, kind of like you can get your weather, <laughs> but it's part of what's happening for me. So I thought I'd share it with you. Um, I respond to the weather. So it's, it's always, it's, it's very important to me. So what are you guys doing? What are you reading? I'm reading, I'm doing very well. I mean, you know, for me, um, I finished A Fool's Errand and I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I think it was great. I did the audio with the book and um, I think it's it was a good exploration of, you know, from concept to, you know, the groundbreaking to, uh, you know, uh, procuring the objects that are going to go into the library to um, how are you going to present it on the day that it opens and who's going to be there and you know the design aspects it did touch on this a bit with the design issues and um you know the decisions that had to be made in terms of who to hire to do the work um it, it was very good so i am still going to i haven't read the begin with the past yet so this is my next one because i said you know when i talked to my husband he was like yeah read this one first and so here he says that, why do you do that? Why do you say, it doesn't even sound like his voice, but yet I change my voice when I do his voice. Okay, so he told me to do this one first. And so I said, okay, I'll try that. So I, I think that was a good choice because that gave me a good background. Um, and then I'm gonna start this one. I'm gonna try to hop in and at least get a couple pages in it this weekend, see how it feels. Um, it's a kind of, to me, it looks kind of more like a coffee table book. Um, so I'm not sure how, uh, I'll respond to like sitting for long periods of time reading it. Is it gonna be good or is it gonna be like boring? And I'm like, yeah, I'll put it down and come back to it. So this is on the horizon. Um, I started and, and enjoying uh, the Stacey Abrams while Justice Sleeps um, about, I'm almost halfway through it. So that's pretty, listen, listen. You, for those of you that have been on here for more than a few videos, you know that that's progress for me because I usually am like, <laughs> slow and then towards the end of the month I'm like jamming to try to get everything done so I am about almost halfway actually I'm right there so that's not too bad I am um, I I couldn't find I was so lazy it wasn't that I couldn't find I was too lazy when I was reading this to put a bookmark in it right so I have a post-it I'm like you know you're so sad it was the thing that was near me and I just used it I will be putting a bookmark I like to use the bookmarks when I when I read the book um, I obviously use page flags, as you can see, when <laughs> it comes to books, especially nonfiction, when I'm trying to pull information um, or historical fiction. This is good so far. It's very interesting. We'll see what happens with it. Um, I do have insight. I don't know. I forget sometimes what I tell you guys. So if I'm repeating, I apologize. But um, she has signed a deal. And are you want to say, I think it's on TV. I think it's going to be coming on. TV on maybe Netflix because that's like the most common place um, that they're going to do this book an adaptation and I don't know if it's going to be a series of a series it sounded like to me like it was going to be a series so it should be interesting and I think she's going to be on in terms of not just giving over the rights but actually being a part of the process of bringing it to from page two um, to the screen so I'm really excited that I'm reading it now because I will be ready when that comes out. And I'm gonna just do what I usually do. I'm gonna just go off tangent for a second, which not really, but um, I did see, now that I just mentioned that page to, to uh, adaptation to the screen, there's this new thing, have you guys seen this on um, Netflix? That it's a uh, Netflix book club and I'm not plugging it and I, I have no, you know, I'm not getting money <laughs> from them. But I just saw when I was looking for something else and probably because I don't know how they know, but maybe it's just plugging it to everybody. But I guess they're going to uh, tell you about a book and then you read the book, if you've read the book, and then you watch the film and then they come back and talk about how it was brought from book to 
to the screen. I think that's what it said. And I think it starts this month. I could be wrong. Um, but I'm going to go back and look again at it. But that's just, it's made me think of that when I thought of this. I wonder if this will make its way on there. Um, assuming that this is on Netflix. So anyways, this is very good. Um, the other one that I said that I was going to read is this one, Run. And I'm going to wait. I'm going to try to see if I can renew this. Because I know I'm going to run out of time. Um, I don't know if I have a little thing in here. Um, but I'm going to uh, renew this and then try to do this over the Thanksgiving break. I think this would be a perfect one for them because it's just nice and nice and easy, not too heavy, and I'm stuffed after eating. I won't have to worry about like reading long lines. I can actually look at pictures. So that's the hope with this one. So this one's gonna be kind of pushed off towards the end. It also will help me feel like, you know, like I'm squeezing in one more book. Now, the one that I just started and the word that I described on Instagram is gripping is The Butterfly um, by Yusra Mardini. Remember I told you about this one last week. I started it, I'm only like, hmm, like 40 pages in, um, but really, really gripping. Um, it's just from the very beginning, you know, first page on, I'm really curious to find out about, oh gosh, oh no fancy socks today, just my socks, regular socks today. Um, <laughs> and I just think that, um, it's interesting to see this whole story. I, I know little about some of the um, political strife and stuff in that region, but not that much, um, which I'm embarrassed to say. But, you know, this is how we learn things. We read things and and then we get interested and we read some more. So I it's really fascinating because at least so far in the book, and this is not really so much a spoiler, it's just, you know, it shows how her life was kind of normal in the beginning and they were really, you know, working towards getting her, her father was very, very strong-willed man that was not to be budged, that wanted them to swim. And she wanted to go to the Olympics. So if you want to do that, he was all for them being very committed to the process and seeing them through it. And it started to some degree very normal and then you kind of are, are witnessing uh, through her eyes of how, first of all, the thing that I thought was interesting was just how the information is dispersed. So it's not like all of a sudden you get an alert across the TV that something is going wrong. And this, I believe, if I'm right, I think this was in 2011, right? I think so. I think that's what the dates were. I'm horrible. Was it 2011? Oh no, okay, I won't take up more time. But, you know, she was witnessing international news about some other countries that are a little bit, you know, that were having problems. And at one point in the book, you know, they were kind of reflecting on how that'll never happen here because we're happy and, you know, we're reasonable people. And, oh, I got it for my ring in here. Oh my God, today I am like the cat with the with the dot all over the place. Um, I had taken my ring off because I had washed my hands and then I had put lotion on and then I didn't put my ring back on. So let me see where I feel it in there. Yes, I do. Um, so I, I like how she's showing you how it's not like, you know, all of a sudden you just, you have all this time to plan. It's like all of a sudden it's in their face and they are forced to make quick decisions. Um, and so that's only up to page 40. So Wow, we're already into the thick of it. Um, you know, it, we'll get further, obviously, and talk more about her swimming and awards and stuff. But I'm very interested in this part of it, of her family and and the people there, and trying to understand a little bit more about that region. So this is a very good read so far. I'm very, very excited with all of my reads so far for this month, which makes me happy because there are months where I have things that are like, mm, you know, just want to DNF it or I do DNF it or whatever. Um, now, we still are not technically in fall. It's not winter yet, although sometimes it feels cold enough to be. So I'm still doing that, um, you know, the fall challenge. Um, <laughs> and I don't have, you know, I have, I printed up the little book covers, but I may have to print up some more because I may be changing things. But these were two of the other ones that I said that I was going to, you know, one of the two other, I was going to try to get in here, not both, because let's just be realistic. I'm not the person that you see that has 50 books at the end of the month. 
Um, but um, I did want to get to these. However, I do think I also have a couple of holes that are coming on that could possibly they could possibly steal a spot on the reading this month. So we will see. But otherwise, I would really like to hop into um, one or the other, maybe more so. I mean, I would probably lead towards this first, but I think I should probably get this because I think this will give, I don't know, I can't remember if I did a fantasy for my bingo card. So this could be like a fantasy slash sci-fi and in the back here it says it's a thriller of unparalleled suspense so it's a thriller as well so it can it can definitely um <laughs> go in and I, I just want to read her at least one book by her um before the years that would be wonderful so hopefully i'll get to it this month i don't know we'll see i mean i still have like i said i'm i'm, I'm halfway through stacy abrams and if i get some time this weekend i'm going to kind of plow some more and I'm going to try to make really good headway. So by next week, I would love to have Stacey Abrams done and this one done or almost done. That would be great. Then I can work on the other one and run the following week. And maybe, I might have to, I don't know, we'll see. You know, it gets crazy. And my kids sometimes have day off and so I don't really know, but other than that, let's see, what else can I tell you? My journal, oh, I started to put together printout pictures for um, How the Word is Passed, because I had finished that one for last month, um, and I decided to treat it like I, because I felt like when I read that book, like I was in this car with him, and we were driving all these locations, these historical places, and that we get out of the car, and I'm beside him as he's experiencing it I'm seeing how he's experiencing it and then I'm also like seeing these people that he's describing that he's talking to and so I felt like I was there and so I thought it would be cool to do for that layout um pictures of all of the locations at least some aspect of it and the only dilemma is I only use two, two pages so there will be less writing which I feel like that book has so much information in it but I do own it, and as you see, I have all those slides in it, so I can always reference it back. But I would like to pop at least some a couple of facts in there because I like the book journal to have either or, or both facts that I learned, if it's, especially if it's a nonfiction, a few of them. Um, how I responded to the book, you know, did I enjoy it or not? What did I think about it? What were my expectations? Things like that. Um, would I recommend it? Stuff like that. So I like to have that so that when I look back at it, I can really look at the experience. But it's kind of hard sometimes because I, um, you know, I I get some ideas like this. And like I think one of them in the past I had not, I couldn't remember as much. So I went and I just pulled quotes. That's okay. You know, um, it, the quotes can also jog my memory if I look back to see, you know, what the story was about. Um, but this one is kind of like going to be visual. And I haven't laid them out yet to see if they all fit. And, and there will be a lot of tears if I can't fit all of them. I have a little mini printer that I make really tiny pictures. So I will, I should be able to fit them. Um, we'll see. So I've been working on that and I am still behind because as I told you, I continue to read. So therefore there's always another review to do in addition to the ones that I need to. So I have a, a sneaky suspicion that I'm going to get into December and I'm going to say whatever. I will finish this in January, but I really don't want that because that happened last year. And let me tell you, once my new journals arrived, <laughs> I did not touch that book again. I put it away on the shelf and I didn't go back. And I'm mad because there's, it's a, um, I didn't finish as many. Like this year, I'm definitely doing better in terms of how many reviews are in it. But I, um, I had some really beautiful ones in there and it would be nice if it would be a complete book with everything. And there's a lot of space in it where I didn't do stuff. So my hope for this year is that I'm going to have something on each page of something, something for each one. So yeah, so that's my, my book nerdish dilemma. I am planning on having a nice weekend. I think I'm going to do some coloring tomorrow. Um, and because I'm feeling the itch, I showed you all those Christmas ones I have and I'm, I'm just dying to get into some. So I am going to probably jump in and try to work on some of those and then, um, spend some time with my in-laws on Sunday. So I will hopefully get some, 
reading in because Sunday kind of football takes over when I, and when we're over there I don't really read there so I will have today and tomorrow to kind of make some headway I think I, I would love I like I'm halfway I would love to get like like have it to like that much more today like if I could get that much more in and then just have this for next week that would be good it would be really good so we'll see We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let me know what you're reading. I don't want to take up any more of your time. I hope you have a lovely day. I hope the weather is much better than it is here. Like my hair is a good barometer because it just kind of like it starts to get frizzy. It gets a little curly um, as soon as it's, it's like a sponge as soon as the humidity and the moisture gets in the air. So we have that. But let me know how you're doing, what you're up to. I love all the comments. I really appreciate them. I do, I do, I do. I reread them. That's how nerdy I am. I all apologize to anybody that's new that is expecting me to reply like within 24 hours. Rarely happens. It rarely happens. I usually will respond today for last week's. So if you don't mind that, <laughs> you don't get angry, then please leave a comment because I will definitely respond to it. I just, I, I usually try to limit my time on YouTube. So it's like kind of ironic. So I'll kind of come in on certain times and I usually will check them all at one time because sometimes I've missed them, missed some and not really realized it. So I like to try to do it all at the same time. So I usually wait several days later, almost up to the week before I will answer them. So, but I am appreciating them very, very much. And thank you to a couple of the new subscribers that are here. And that is it. That's enough gush. Have a good weekend. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.